just uh, picking up his new Cad Cadillac Eldorado Beerets in Houston on Saturday, 16th of June. Elvis was here at WHBQ TV Studios on the Wink Mart Wink Martindale show to promote the Rustwood Park show on the 4th of July. The WHBQ TV studio is here on Madison, as in that, that building there, it's got a new extension on it now, but the old WHBQ TV show was there and it was a Wink Martindale Saturday dance party show. Um, and there's footage of Elvis uh, slouching over the jukebox promoting the, sh the upcoming show on the 4th of July 1956 at the Russwood Stadium here in Memphis um, where he, uh, he's going to give away a, a ring that was going to be given at the, as a door prize at the concert. So that was your WHBQ TV. On Friday 22nd of June this uh, Elvis Lee and Sam Day tour of Georgia and North and South Carolina which was the first tour that uh, the full lineup of the Jordanaires toured with Elvis. The following Friday they fly up to New York City to rehearse the Steve Allen TV show. From there they go back to Richmond, Virginia. The following the date in Richmond, Elvis and the crew by train go back to New York and then on July the 1st of course is the Steve Allen show where Elvis is filmed in uh, singing Hound Dog to a, a Basset Hound in a tuxedo. And that was followed in the evening, by uh, later in the night, by the High Gardener call-in show where Elvis uh, answered questions on the telephone to High Gardener. On the next day, 2nd of July, Elvis was in the studios in New York where he cut, uh, where he recorded Hound Dog, Don't Be Cruel and Any Way You Want Me. Of course, Hound Dog and Don't Be Cruel would be his biggest double-sided smash hit. 3rd of July, he started travelling home by train. Somewhere across the way there was uh, White Station and his famous photos of Alf that Alfred Wertheimer took of Elvis after arriving back in Memphis from New York on the 4th of July in preparation for his concert that night at Russwood Park in Memphis. And it was, it's not an official designated stop, but the, the, the train slowed down and Elvis jumped off impatient to get back home on to Audubon and walk the rest of the way. Elvis jumped off of course and came back. Yeah so there's a, quite a few photos on July 4th taken here at Audubon. building right in front there it is uh, it's all medical centers now this this whole area is Memphis's medical center but that area there was Russwood Park um, and this is where Elvis on the 4th of July in the evening was this was the show here at the Russwood Park baseball ground um, that Elvis had uh, earlier in June um, advertised on the Wink Martindale show on WHBQ TV further down south uh, further down east sorry on Madison uh, was where that studio was <laughs> so the one of the bandstands of Russwood Park and the entrance would be along here on Madison just come here on court I've knew the part of the medical district is here right here was where Russwood Park stood and is where Elvis appeared in a benefit concert in front of 14,000 people the stadium seats would have run would have gone roughly across just beyond this building and it would have been roughly around this area here probably the, the, where I am now where the stage was set up for Elvis to perform in front of the crowds on the on the baseball field and in the stadiums behind. I was on the 4th of July 56. Russwood Park burnt down on Easter Day 1960. 
and it was an old old wooden structure and of course it, there was nothing left of it so here's the Rustwood Park Memorial uh, here's the Rustwood Park historical marker and the fire destroyed the park on April 17th 1960 I'm on Jackson Avenue here in the original Jackson Avenue where the road bends to the right there Originally, Jackson Avenue actually bent up to the left. St Joseph Hospital was all over to the left-hand side. That's where Gladys Presley worked for a while. Elvis also visited here on the 5th of July, 1956, after his concert on the 4th at Russwood Park, as a young girl and her mother had been involved in a car accident on the way to the concert and couldn't attend, so Elvis came to see, visit them at the hospital here. So this was here in July 56 for some um, publicity photos of the Peabody, which we'll uh, go down to in a minute. And many pictures were taken here on me. Outside Jim's Barbershop. Jim's Barbershop would have been in this second unit down from the what is now the Orpheum. It was originally the Orpheum actually. It was originally the Orpheum before it became the Malco Cinema and then uh, reverted back to the Orpheum in the early 80s. That's where this photo was taken. Same time Elvis was having his photo taken outside the Malco Theatre there with a the police officer. He had publicity photos taken down here uh, at the Peabody, a room in the Peabody, and afterwards he was snapped outside on this corner here. You can see the building there uh, with Huey, which is now Huey's restaurant, and you can see the that tall building in the back, which I think is the was the William Len Hotel, now the Radisson, I think that's it anyway. But um, yeah. I've seen this photo before and it said it's on uh, photos of Elvis on Main Street but it wasn't Main Street, it was actually here on on 2nd Street After the July 4th Russwood Park concert in Memphis Elvis more or less had three, to, three weeks to a month off before go heading off on another tour and he spent most of the time down here in the Bloxy Gulf Shores area with June Manico and her family. And there's a lot of photos taken during that time of Elvis and the group out, out on the fishing boat where, interestingly enough, you can see Elvis has clearly got the more blonde, sandy colour hair rather than, of course, the black hair that he's known for. It was his natural colour. Yeah, Roosevelt Hotel. He stayed here August the 12th, 1956. On his way back from the Florida tour, he was he had a date in the New Orleans Municipal Auditorium, and he stayed here for the night. The photo of him outside the car, you only can just about see that building in the background in the photo, just the edge of it. So he's outside here. This is the New Orleans Municipal Auditorium. Elvis played here August 13th, 1956, after Elvis had done a tour of Florida. This was the final date here. And that was his, the last time he played New Orleans. August 1356, and after he finished this gig, after a couple of days off, he was off to Hollywood to start filming Lovely Tango. 